What's going down? Thor back with another Thor's thoughts. It's been a minute. Um, I guess it's been about a week or so. So if you've been following me around, you know, I was in Vegas last week uh, for the Sabre Legion TSL three, their national tournament, doing some commentating for that. It was a great time. I had a blast in Vegas. Vegas was awesome as always. I mean, Vegas is always awesome. It's Vegas. Um, but I decided to shoot a little video. There's not a lot of news going on right now. There's not a lot of things. Obviously, I'm not at home in the set. Um, I'm not even in the new set. I'm, I'm nowhere. Well, I'm, I am somewhere. I'm in an undisclosed location in Ohio for a couple more weeks uh, on assignment, rolling Han Solo. Um, things have been good, though. Like, I just want to shoot a quick update video, kind of let you guys know what's been going on. If you've been watching, you know, what I've been up to. I was on ESPN2 this week, the Ocho, the Saber Legion Awakening special. If you haven't got a chance to watch it, go check it out. If you didn't watch some of the live streams from TSL3, go over to the Saber Legion page, hit a like button, check out some of the videos from that. It was some really good Saber dueling action. I definitely recommend checking it out. But yeah, I've been just busy. I've been out and about. I've been running around like a madman. I don't remember the last time I had a day off, you know, um, which is good because, you know, could be worse, I guess, right? Uh, there's a few things to talk about. I mean, I'm definitely going to talk about a couple different things on this video. Definitely what's coming next for BBB, um, what I've been up to, which I kind of already went over. And then we'll talk about a little bit of things that have happened. I mean, there was that trash, you know, Venom trailer that came out. We'll touch on that. And now Disney owns Fox officially. So we'll talk about what the ramifications of that is when it comes to, um, honestly, the uh, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the villains, the MCU, the new phases. So it'll be very interesting to kind of see what transpires with that going forward. But like I said, uh, I'm out on assignment. I've been, I'm doing some work stuff, not BBB related, nothing, nothing that entertaining, like actual work, pay the bills type of stuff. But I got to say, like anybody who watched the ESPN thing, I got a lot of love from that. A lot of people hit me up. I got a lot of, you know, new likes, new friend requests, new subscribers. I appreciate everything, um, everything. Everybody taking their time out to watch that and like spread love and, and show love to me. Because honestly, that was one of my dreams. You know, being a commentator on ESPN uh, it was a dream of mine. And getting to be able to watch myself on ESPN2 is something surreal that I'll never, you know, that'll, that'll never go away. So I want to thank the Sabre Legion. I want to thank Terry, uh, Charlie, Aaron Riley. Uh, I just want to thank everybody, all them guys. I mean, the people I met out in Vegas, the things, the, you know, the action was cool. The experience was cool. But the people are really what made it that much more special and being able to you know just talk with everybody and chat with everybody and do the live streams and do the commentary that was the best part about it um i'm just right i'm reading some of the comments so if you got some stuff i got the chat open if you got something dylan what's up thanks for tuning in um our social media presence it's it's all right it could be better you know i could do more i try to do a lot you know um but there's only so many hours in the day and being that I work, you know, 10 hours most days, I did do a lot when I was out in Vegas. I posted a lot as much as I could. I could have put out more pictures. I could have put out a couple more videos, but I really didn't want to take away from what the Sabre Legion was doing. And I really wanted to promote what they had going on as opposed to promoting my own things. So that's kind of why it's been a little bit quiet on, on the BBB front. Uh, and that I don't have Brian. I mean, there aren't, there is no BBB without him. You know, I mean, it's me and him. That's the duo, you know, two nerds talking nerd stuff. That's what we do. Uh, we're definitely going to get back to it. We got a new set. We're in the process of building, um, new lightings coming up. We got a lot of things in the works. Um, some of which I can divulge some of which I can't, but yeah, it, there's a lot of things going on right now. It's all good. It's all love. It's, it's, it's happy times. You know, I mean, I am out for three weeks rolling Han solo, like I said, and, um, you know, that could be, um, uh, it's got its own challenges. Um, you know what I mean? Not being at home, not being my loved ones, but you know, I got, you know, some great guys in the Sabre Legion Ohio ch charter that I've been able to hang out with. I posted some stuff that I did with them last night. Uh, they taught me a lot of stuff. I went to an actual Sabre training class. It was super cool. Um, really just kind of sharpening my skills for like my next announcing gig and really trying to learn more about the ins and outs of like Sabre fighting and sword fighting and stuff like that. Cause I'm definitely come at it from more of a novice perspective from more someone who doesn't watch it regularly, doesn't know a ton on it. Um, that's kind of the perspective I come from. 
Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, spreading the word over social media is the way to build to build your channel, the way to build your thing. And the more you post, the more active you are, you know, the more hits you get, the more, you know, the more stuff that happens. So I'm definitely trying to trying to step my step my uh, social media presence up. Uh, but we're not there yet. I mean, uh, it, it's it's like everything is a work in progress. But we got more Base My Banner episodes coming. We got more faked out trailer reactions coming. Um, gonna do maybe a Does It Hold Up here soon. Obviously, Thor's thoughts are, are rolling strong. I mean, Thor's always ready to talk. So, yeah. Um, but we'll talk about a little bit of the news. So that Venom trailer came out while I was in Vegas. I was gonna do a video on it while I was in Vegas. But honestly, I watched it and I hated it. So I was like, I'm not going to, you know, do And it wasn't going to be a negative video, but honestly, I don't have a lot of nice things to say about it. Tom Hardy's Tom Hardy. I like him sometimes and I dislike him other times. I'm still really unsure about them doing a, a movie without Spider-Man or the very limited Spider-Man presence that's not connected to the MCU. It just doesn't breed... Uh, a lot of confidence in me going forward, especially when they've tabled a lot of stuff and that they're going to have like all these different symbiotes in there. And none of them are going to have a Spider-Man theme because Spider-Man's never been introduced and it's taking place in, I think, San Francisco or California as opposed to New York. You know, I mean, we'll see. I, I want to see it. I definitely want to see it. Is it like high on my list of things to see in the next year? Probably not. Um, I might see it in theaters. I might wait. I'm honestly, it's not something where I'm like, you know, it's not the next Marvel movie. It's not the next Star Wars movie. It's not even the next DC uh, EU movie for me. I mean, I'm way pumped for Aquaman, Shazam. Uh, even though I didn't love the Aquaman trailer and I like the Shazam trailer better, I'm still very excited to see what they present with Aquaman. Uh, but Venom, yeah, I mean, tell me what you thought about it. It was the second full trailer, I think, and it just it didn't impress me. I think Venom looks menacing but at times they don't have the white um the white spider so it's just kind of like white veins on a black gooey looking suit it's it's not my cup of tea that's all i'll say it's not my cup of tea um but what is my cup of tea and what we've been talking about for a long time which finally got fully approved both boards of directors approved it for disney and fox the department of Just justice has uh, approved it it's going full steam ahead disney's acquisition of fox studios of fox properties of fx uh don't think they're going to get the fox sports channels due to um them owning espn and a monopoly on that side of it but that's it's marginal they're still going to get all the ips they wanted for their streaming service they're still going to get their Marvel uh, characters back. Now, what they're going to do with them is kind of up in the air. Bob Iger, the president of Disney, came out and said that they're going to do some stuff on their streaming service that revolves around like the X-Men possibly. But I don't think it's going to be like the big X-Men. I don't think it's going to be like Cyclops, Wolverine. You know, I don't think you're going to see those guys on the streaming service. I, I'm almost positive they're they're holding that back and they're going to continue to hold that back until they're ready to reintroduce them in the MCU. And if they go Fantastic Four not in the MCU, I will be irritated. I'm not going to like it. I mean, the first family of Marvel deserves to be in the MCU at this point, especially some of their villains, Doctor Doom, Galactus, um, I think the Skrulls, which I, I don't know who owns them at the present moment anyways, but I really want to see them introduced properly into the MCU down the line. Uh, and by down the line, I mean probably two to five years, maybe three to seven years, depending upon what they really want to do. But they it's full steam ahead. So next year we got the streaming service hitting and there's a lot of announcements. They did just announce that any movies that are currently in production or done will come out. So X-Men Dark Phoenix and New Mutants, I believe, are the only two that are at that point. So we probably aren't getting Deadpool 3. We're probably not getting uh, X-Force, although X-Force might be in pre-production, so we may get that. They could end up using X-Force as um, a wrap-up point for that universe and a jump-off point for their new MCU universe. It'll be very interesting to see what they do going forward, but... I'm excited yet still trepidatious about the future of the X-Men franchise, the Fantastic Four franchises, and MCU as a whole. Because what happens? Do we get 
the movies that we've been getting? Do we get Guardians? Do we get Captain Marvels? Do we get these things? Or is it literally a Spider-Man movie, an Avengers movie, and then like an X-Men movie and a Fantastic Four movie and then just repeat? Do we get new characters? Do we get an Adam Warlock movie down the road? Do we get a Doctor Strange 2 and 3? Uh, these are these are questions that are yet to be answered. And honestly, that's I think what I'm most excited to, to watch is like what's going on with those things. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm going to try to keep this short, which has already gone a little bit longer than I had planned on. But Basin Boy Banner isn't going nowhere. Uh, we're still going to keep bringing you that nerdy goodness that you've come to expect from us. It's just on hold for a little bit. I'll be bringing you what I can from uh, from location here in Ohio. But no new BBB episodes until we get back. Um Maybe not until we get the set done. Uh, the lighting's in, so we got new lighting. I got a lot, a lot of things I'm working on. Um, but we will have content continually for you. There is some wrestling while I'm down here in Ohio, SummerSlam, and NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I happen to be off the night of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, so I will be live streaming that night. I will maybe do live reactions throughout. I might just do like a three-hour live stream while I watch it. Um, I may do a reaction video afterwards. I may do both. Who knows what's going to happen at this point? I'm working on getting some special guests while I'm out here to come and join me, to come and jump in on the mic, uh, shoot some content with me, do a lot of different stuff. But yeah, uh, like I said, thank you everybody who's you know showing me a lot of love and support over the past week with the TSL stuff. Go like the Saber Legions page. If you haven't seen the thing on ESPN2, I think it's going to be on again. Check that out. Or if your friend's got a DVR or find somebody, I mean, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Um, so check that out. I got it on DVR. So if you know me, you can come, come watch it on my place anytime. I'll keep that forever. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I got. Um, that's it. That is all. Until next time, you know what to do. You know where to find us. Deuces.